what's up everybody welcome back to another video today i'm taking you guys behind the scenes on a commercial shoot for redeemer church uh, today we are going to be shooting a 60 second commercial for redeemer church for this new initiative that they have going on i'm working with my buddy aaron today um, i'm assistant directing and i'll be taking you guys behind the scenes on the entire process so if you stick around for the end of this video you'll be able to see hopefully the finished product so also i should mention today we are shooting on the fuji xt3 series we have two of those one's going to be flying on the ronin s and the other one would probably be doing like some static lockdown shots on sticks as well as some handheld stuff and uh we'll be shooting various different lighting situations so i'll be naming all of the gear and all the equipment used and hopefully throwing some raw footage if we have it so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks so much for tuning in. Not how you do it, kids. <laughs> <laughs> So today we're shooting on the X-T3 with the 16 and 55 lens uh, and I can, I don't even remember the model number of this but if I can find it on uh, Amazon I'll put it in the description with this beautiful arm that costs more than a monitor. <laughs> It is in a handle from small HD just to kind of bring it all together. Swipe up, swipe up. <laughs> yep, let's go eat. Tell this guy to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> sleep when you're dead. <laughs> all right, so that is a wrap on the first scene. Yep. For today, um, we were incredibly efficient in knocking those shots out. So we have two hours to kill until our next call time. So. We're going to get breakfast. We're going to Village Cafe. Food, man. We're going to have to get food. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Yep. That's, that's yep. pretty much it. Let's okay. go. So, we are at Village Cafe for breakfast. This brings back so many memories of college days. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Staying up till 2 a.m. and going to eat Christian's pizza down the street, like $2 pizza. Oh! The one that gets free. And the one One little bit right there. Yep. That's gonna be sick. We're at La Grotta. We got them to shut the whole place down because this is a big budget film. And we, you know, we just we bought the whole restaurant out for the entire day. That's pretty much how we do it. Right? Yeah, sure. Exactly. So yeah, we're about to unload our grip truck. We have a personal grip truck for today. All the grips back there. Yep, the grip and gap. Grip and gap. We're gonna, I don't know, what time do we get inside of here? Noon. Noon? Yep. So we got like six minutes before they open the doors for us, I guess. Yep. And then we're gonna load up or load in. in. Load in, baby. Load in. So yeah guys, this is uh, our second scene for today. This is some good light coming in right here. Um, so yeah, we just finished knocking out all of these different shots. We basically shot cross, um, wide angles, some variance, some, some entering. I actually came in and played the, the waiter for the evening. And uh, Aaron just did like some dirty shots like over the shoulder for that kind of stuff to kind of um, have like a fake waiter <laughs> situation going on. And uh, yeah, the lighting looks absolutely amazing. It even looks good right here. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's like really, really good. Um, so yeah, we're about to strike all this stuff in a second after we get this one shot outside. And then we're heading to our last location for today. Okay, so these are the Godox lights. Did you mention that? I did, but cool. it doesn't matter. Just but the, the biggest portion of what we wanted to do is we wanted to use uh, to use as much light as possible so that the backlight isn't overpowering. So we put the two side lights up first to do like uh, hair and also key light per for each person, but then there was just not enough light coming from this side, so we threw up another one there, soft diffusion coming in, and it, it looks like a freaking commercial, so that's what we're going for. <laughs> yeah. 
Lucy won't take my ID like I'm dirty then. We can be friends, can't be bros, let's you know my So now we are filming. You can be in it, you can be in it. So now we're filming the walking scene, uh, the entrance into it. Fun fact is that it's actually darker out here than inside when we were lighting with our own lights. <laughs> so I've got to adjust exposure, yes. He said taste and see. Okay. All right, guys. So we have made it to our last location of the day. We're at Starbucks um, for this last shot. Uh, if you know anything about Virginia weather, you gotta wear layers because now it's starting to warm up out here. And uh, yeah, I had to come out of that jacket because I was getting way, way, way too hot. But yeah, so our last scene is gonna be right inside of Starbucks. We're gonna keep it like really intimate and low key, I'm sure. Um, this is a new Starbucks, by the way, so it's gonna look really cool inside. I think we're probably bringing some lights if we're allowed to. I don't know to what extent that we'll be able to, you know, light this, but we're gonna try to do everything that we can to make this shot look equally as awesome as the rest of the shots that we've got. So, uh, like always, I'll be taking you guys along with us while we shoot this last scene. Also, I should mention that we are about two hours ahead of schedule um, in terms of our shot, shot list schedule. So we're kind of just hanging out right now and I'm gonna grab some coffee or not coffee now because I can't drink coffee as much. Probably gonna get a, like a chai latte or something, which is a lot more boring than coffee. But yeah, just gonna get some chai tea and hang out. So I've been thinking about getting a Sony uh, for video anyway, and this is the a7 II. I was thinking about getting the a7 III uh, How do you like this camera? I like it. It's really snappy. Uh, it's comfortable. It's got it's got some weight to it but, um, I haven't felt any fatigue or anything like that with it, but it's, it's fun to use, that's for sure. Yeah And then he's got this cool leather piece on the bottom that makes it look extra uh, West Elm slash Hipster vibes going on. <laughs> We're about to go to Joshua Tree and shoot some desert photos. <laughs> and I love that. that. I would probably get that exact same thing. Where, where can you get this, uh, this Honestly, leather thing I, from? Mine came with it. I don't. I have no clue where you buy that. <laughs> probably that? Amazon. Amazon, surely. I'm sure. So you can get this off of Amazon. But yeah, pretty dope with the. What was that 50? Yeah. 50 mil. 50 yeah. 50. Beans, of course, a, a Fuji guy. He used to be a Canon guy. Was. And then he uh, traded on me. I did. I might go back though. Yeah. If if the if the EOS R Pro two X. Don't it's do it. Got dual card slots, 10 bit. Don't do uh, it. 10 bit at 4K. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah, I might I might go back. I like I like the Fuji colors a lot better personally, but. Canon image quality to me is a lot better. Now what's that you got on the front of the lens? So in this shoot, we're using ProMist, so I need a filter on this lens so that I can put the ProMist on the end. And uh, this is a 1 4th ProMist. I use it because it makes it look cool. To be honest, I don't know what it does. It just makes it look good. <laughs> oh, this is the Pelican 1520 case, I believe. I've had it for like years, and so I put everything I need into it, uh, whether it be Noga arms or media or emergency kits when I'm shooting weddings, batteries, extra cameras, recorders, uh, cords, and I put all my uh, stickers on the outside so that I don't get mixed up with all my buddies. Hey, all in hand. Yeah, it's all in hand. Blessings got me feeling like a hundred grand. That's a wrap on the shoes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Tag along with us on this yeah, man. on this vlog, and I hope you learned something along the way. All of the gear that we use will be listed in the description below, so so you don't bug us. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, swipe up. That's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put uh, Aaron's Instagram and all that stuff. Don't forget stuff. to like and subscribe to oh, this yeah. guy. Like if you like it, like it. If you subscribe. Thank you. Uh, I'll try to post more videos for you guys. If you hate it, send him an email. Yeah. Send Aaron an email, actually, if you hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put his email address right there. Hey, uh, Aaron-me.com. So, yeah, um, oh, yeah, everything will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, just to be clear, this is not a Starbucks coffee. This is an apple cider because I hate the coffee. <laughs> yeah, you
see me tripping, boy, it's all in hand. Blessings got me feeling like a hundred grand. 